Great Expectations by Charles Dickens Charles Dickens I am Charles Dickens. I am a famous writer. Do you know the names of some of my books? Oliver Twist, David Copperfield, A Tale of Two Cities, Great Expectations. Victoria is the Queen. England is a very important country in my time. It has a lot of power in the world, from Europe to India and China. But there are a lot of poor people in England. The rich ladies and gentlemen don't care about them. But I am sorry for the poor people. That is why I write my stories. I want to show that money is not important. In my story, Pip is a good boy when he is poor. But when he is a gentleman, he is cold and unkind. It isn't good to think about money. It is better to think about people. Read my story. Do you agree? Orphans An orphan is a child without parents. There are two important orphans in the story of Great Expectations. Pip and Estella. Pip lives with his sister and Joe Gargery. Estella lives with Miss Havisham. Who has the better life? Pip with his life on the marshes and Joe who loves him? Or Estella with Miss Havisham's jewels and money? In the story Pip looks for substitute fathers. As you read the story, think about this idea. Who takes the place of Pip's dead father? Who takes the place of Pip's dead mother? It is very hard to be an orphan in the 19th century. If you are rich, Maybe there are rich relations who look after you. But if you are poor, no one helps you. There are a lot of orphans in the stories of Dickens. Oliver Twist is the most famous one. He must live in the workhouse. That is a place for poor people who have no money and no job. The local government gives them a place to live and food, but they must work and follow the rules. The food is bad and the work is hard. People in the times of Dickens are afraid of the workhouse. Some orphans live in special places called orphanages. Some of these orphanages are very bad. Dickens writes about another orphan in his book David Copperfield. And another writer, Charlotte Bronte, writes about Jane Eyre, a girl orphan. Why are there a lot of orphans in Victorian times? Sometimes life is dangerous, especially for poor people. It is easy to die in an accident, in a factory or on a farm. Doctors and hospitals are not very advanced. Parents often die young from diseases. It is dangerous for women to have children. Women often die in childbirth. We are lucky. We live in the 21st century and healthcare 
is much better. We understand diseases better and how to avoid them. People do not live as long in Victorian times. Part 1. The Prisoner on the Marshes Pip is a young boy. He has no mother and father. He lives on the marshes, near the great River Thames. One day he is sitting in the churchyard. He is looking at his parents' graves. Suddenly someone grabs him. It's a prisoner. He is escaping from the prison ships on the river. Pip is very afraid. What's your name? Pip, sir. I want food. Get me some. Ye yes, sir. You must be very hungry, sir. Yes, I am. And bring me a file to cut these chains. But don't tell anyone. No, sir. Pip runs back to the house. He lives with his sister and her husband, Joe. They are poor, simple people. Joe is the village blacksmith, and he is very kind. He loves Pip. But Pip's sister is nasty and bad-tempered. She likes hitting her little brother. In the middle of the night, Pip steals some food from the kitchen for the prisoner. You are a bad boy. Get me some food. I'm afraid of my sister, but I'm very afraid of the prisoner. It's very bad to steal food, but I must do it. Where is Joe's file? I must take it to help the prisoner. Pip gets up early and runs across the marshes. It is very cold and misty. The sun is rising. He sees another prisoner, but the man runs away. Pip takes the food and the file to the prisoner in the churchyard. Here is the food. You must be very cold and hungry, sir. Thank you, boy. This food is good. There's another prisoner on the marshes, sir. He has a scar on his face. What? He is my enemy. Give me the file. Quick, I must find him. Pip goes back to the house. When his sister cannot find the food for dinner, she is very angry. But then some soldiers arrive. They want Joe to help them. He must mend their equipment. The soldiers are looking for the prisoners. Joe takes Pip to the marshes to watch. The soldiers find the prisoners. They are fighting because they are enemies. The soldiers take the prisoners back to the prison ship. I'm afraid. The prisoner thinks that I'm helping the soldiers. It isn't true. The soldiers are taking the prisoners to the prison ship. Poor men, I'm sorry for them. You are my enemy. I want to kill you. You're stupid. Now we're both going back to prison. Part 2 Miss Havisham A strange old lady lives in a big house in the village. Her name is Miss Havisham. One day, she asks Pip's uncle to send Pip to her. She wants to see a child. His sister says, Miss Havisham is very rich. You must be polite, Pip. Perhaps she wants to give you a lot of money. Good luck, Pip. Be careful. Some people say Miss Havisham is mad. Uncle Pumblechook takes Pip to her house. Its name is Satis House. 
A beautiful young girl opens the gate for Pip. She is very proud. Come in, boy. Miss Havisham wants to see you. But I don't like you. Your boots are dirty and your hands are rough. Is Miss Havisham your mother? No. I have no mother or father. But I live with Miss Havisham and she gives me everything. But don't ask questions, boy. Miss Havisham is sitting in a dark room. She is wearing an old wedding dress. It isn't white, it's yellow because it's very old. There are a lot of clocks, but they aren't working. They all say the same time. Twenty to nine. Hello, Pip. Well, Estella, do you like Pip? No, he isn't a gentleman. He's a blacksmith's boy. And Pip, do you like Estella? She's very beautiful. Pip thinks you're beautiful, Estella. So break his heart. Pip visits Miss Havisham and Estella many times. Sometimes they play cards. Sometimes they sing. But Estella is always proud. Pip begins to love her, but she doesn't love him. One day, Miss Havisham takes him into a special room. There is a long table with a very old wedding cake on it. Spiders and mice and rats are everywhere. Today is my birthday, Pip. Push me around the table. This is my wedding cake from a long time ago. But where is her husband? I hate men. I am teaching Estella to hate men too, Pip. You are only a boy. But when you are a man, you must leave Satis House forever. But I want to marry Estella. Silly boy! I hate you! One day, Pip meets another boy in the garden. They fight. The boy boxes like a gentleman, but Pip wins because he fights like a blacksmith. Estella is watching the fight. <sighs> You're the winner. Well done, Pip. You may kiss me if you like. Pip kisses Estella on the cheek. Later, Miss Havisham says goodbye to him. This is the last time, Pip. I don't want to see you again. Here is some money. You must be a blacksmith. But I want to see Estella again. I love her. I am sending Estella to Paris. I am making her a lady. But you are a blacksmith, Pip. You must work with Joe Gargery. Part 3 The Money Pip works with Joe. He loves Joe and Joe loves him. But Pip is unhappy because he isn't a gentleman. He is 18 years old now. When Pip's sister is ill, a young woman comes to help Joe. Her name is Biddy. She is kind, generous and very pretty. She likes Pip very much, but Pip cannot forget Estella. I want to be a gentleman, Biddy. I want to marry Estella. I want to live in London. I am happy here with you and Joe, Pip. Joe isn't a gentleman, but he's a very good man. Yes, you're right. But I... The marsh is a beautiful. I'm not a lady, and I'm not rich. 
but I like my life. One day, a visitor comes to the forge. His name is Mr. Jaggers. He is a lawyer from London. Is your name Pip? Yes, sir. I have news for you. You are rich. You have great expectations. What? I don't understand. Someone wants to give you a lot of money. You must go to London. You must learn to be a gentleman. It is a big surprise for Pip. Joe and Biddy are very sad. They don't want to lose Pip. Who is my benefactor, sir? It's a secret. I must not tell you the name. Is it a man or a woman? I must not tell you. Don't ask any more questions. Take this money. Buy some gentleman's clothes. Miss Havisham must be the person. She wants me to be a gentleman. She wants Estella to be a lady. She wants us to marry. I am very happy. Pip leaves the village. Joe and Biddy are crying, but Pip is happy. He is in the coach. He is thinking about the future. Goodbye, Pip. Remember us. Good luck in London, Pip. Don't forget us when you're a fine gentleman. I'm going to London. I can't believe it. I want to see St Paul's Cathedral and Westminster Abbey and the Queen's Palace. I have money. I have new clothes. I am a gentleman. Part four. London. Pip arrives in London. He sees a big city for the first time. He forgets Joe and Biddy. He only thinks about Estella. He lives in Barnard's Inn in London. In his rooms, he meets Herbert Pocket. Hello, my name's Herbert. Hello, I'm Pip. I remember you. You're the boy in Miss Havisham's garden. Yes, but now we are friends. I want to show you London. My father is a teacher. He can help you to be a gentleman. Then I can marry Estella. Herbert is telling Pip about Miss Havisham. He says, "Be careful, Pip. Miss Havisham hates men. Many years ago, she was in love, but on her wedding day, the man wasn't at the church. The time was twenty to nine. Estella hates men too." I cannot marry you. I love your money, but I don't love you. Ah! This is terrible. Stop the clocks. Close the curtains. I don't want to live in the world. Pip learns to be a gentleman. He learns to eat politely. He learns to speak politely. He learns to behave politely. Joe visits him in London, but he doesn't stay long. Pip doesn't want to talk to his old friend, the blacksmith. Pip is a snob. You're a fine gentleman now, Pip. You have fine clothes. Thank you, Joe. Biddy sends you her best wishes, Pip. Thank you, Joe. I'm going back to the village now, Pip. I don't belong in London. Goodbye, Joe. Joe is unhappy. He loves Pip. Pip buys new clothes and new furniture. Mr. Jaggers always has money to give him. Mr. Wemmick, my clerk, has some money for you, Pip. How much do you want? A lot, Mr. Jaggers. All right, Pip. 
You are 21 years old this year. Your benefactor wants to give you more money. But who is my benefactor? It's Miss Havisham, isn't it? I cannot tell you. Here is your money, sir. Pip is very happy. He is a rich gentleman. He can marry Estella. Part 5. Estella in London Estella comes back from Paris. Now she is a lady and Pip is a gentleman. Pip goes to visit Miss Havisham at Satis House and meets Estella. Pip thinks that Miss Havisham is his benefactor. You are rich now, Pip, but the name of your benefactor is secret, I think. Yes, Miss Havisham, but I'm very grateful. Good. Look, here is Estella. You are very beautiful, Estella. Ah, it's the blacksmith's boy. You are a gentleman now. Your shoes are clean. Miss Havisham is happy. She wants Estella to break the hearts of men. This is Miss Havisham's revenge. Is she beautiful? She asks Pip. Yes, he says. Love her, Pip, says Miss Havisham. Love her, love her, love her. Estella comes to London. Pip is her friend, but she flirts with a lot of men. Pip is jealous. At a party, he is talking to Estella. Estella, don't dance with other men. Don't smile at them. Marry me. I am a gentleman now. I love you. Don't be silly, Pip. I have no heart. I cannot love you. I can only make you unhappy. Do you want to dance, Miss Estella? Yes, thank you, sir. Goodbye, Pip. Pip is very sad. Herbert wants to help his friend. He tells him to forget Estella. But I love her, says Pip. Pip is drinking with Herbert and some other students. Every man drinks to a lady. Bentley Drummle is there. He is rich and handsome, but he has a bad reputation. He raises his glass. To Estella, the most beautiful woman in London. Pip is angry. You cannot drink to Estella. You don't know her. Why not? I know her well. She is my special friend. I often dance with her. You are lying. Herbert tells Pip to be careful. Everyone is listening. Later, Bentley Drummel shows everybody a letter from Estella. She writes, Yes, I know Mr. Drummel. Sometimes I dance with him. Estella. Pip must apologise. I am sorry, he says. You are right. You are not a liar. And you, sir, are not a gentleman. The other students laugh at Pip. <laughs> <laughs> Pip goes to see Estella. Estella, why do you see Bentley Drummel? Estella answers, There are lots of men in my life, Pip. I am very beautiful. Miss Havisham gives me a lot of money. They all want to marry me. But Estella, Drummle is a horrible person. He's cruel and stupid. 
I like cruel, stupid, rich men. Remember, Pip, I have no heart. Biddy writes to Pip. Pip's sister, Joe's wife, is dead. Pip goes back to the village. After the funeral, he speaks to Biddy. Joe is very sad, Pip. You never write to him or visit us. I'm sorry, Biddy, but don't worry. I want to visit Joe often now. My sister is dead, and he is alone. I don't believe you, Pip. You are a gentleman now, and you don't want to remember Joe and me. No, Biddy, I miss you. But Pip doesn't visit them. He always thinks about Estella and Miss Havisham. He forgets his real friends. Part six, the visitor. One night, Pip is studying at home. It is a dark, stormy night. He can hear the wind and the rain in the London streets. Suddenly, somebody knocks at the door. It is an old, rough-looking man. He is not a gentleman. Who are you? What do you want? My boy, my boy. Do you recognise me? No, I don't know you. Please go away. But I know you. You are my gentleman. This is a mistake. No, there's no mistake. You are a gentleman because you have my money. You are my gentleman. Pip and the prisoner are talking. Do you remember the marshes? Do you remember the churchyard? Do you remember the prisoner? I am the prisoner. My name is Abel Magwitch. But this is impossible. No, dear boy, you helped me. I remember the food. I was a prisoner in Australia. Now I have a lot of money. I have a sheep farm in Australia. Jaggers is my lawyer. He gives you money from me, dear boy. I am in England to see you. Pip is very upset. I don't understand. Miss Havisham is my benefactor. Magwitch answers. No, no, you are wrong. This is terrible. I cannot take your money. I cannot marry Estella. I hate you. Now, Pip knows the truth. He tells everything to his friends. It is dangerous for Abel, Pip. The police want to hang him. We must help him. Magwitch must return to Australia. It is the end of my dreams. I am poor again. Abel Magwitch must hide from the police. His enemy is looking for him. I am happy with you, Pip. You are like my son. I love you. I don't want to go back to Australia. Pip decides to help Magwitch. They must go to Australia together. First. He wants to see Joe and Biddy again. He goes back to the forge in the country. Pip, I'm so glad to see you. How are you? I'm sorry we have no good food or fine wine for a gentleman like you. Don't say that, Joe. I'm not a gentleman now. It's a long story, and I cannot tell you everything. It is a secret. But I'm here to say goodbye. Goodbye? Where are you going? I'm going to Australia. I cannot tell you any more. But thank you, Joe and Biddy, for everything. You are my best friends.
Part seven. Fire. Pip wants to see Miss Havisham again. He visits Satis' house. Estella is with Miss Havisham. Pip, why are you here? I know everything. You are not my benefactor. You don't care about me. I'm sorry, Pip. Estella, marry me. I am poor again, but I love you. No, Pip. I cannot marry you. I want to marry Bentley Drummle. Pip and Miss Havisham are shocked. Pip, I know nothing about this. I cannot believe it. It is true, Miss Havisham. I want to be Mrs. Bentley Drummle. Forget me, Pip. Ungrateful girl, you have my money and my jewels and my love. I don't want you to marry a man. I hate all men. I want you here with me. Do you love me, Estella? No, Miss Havisham. I cannot love. I have no heart. That is your lesson to me. Goodbye, Pip. This is your fault, Miss Havisham. You are a bitter old woman. Estella has no heart because you taught her to hate men. She doesn't love Drummle. He is rich and handsome, but he is cruel. It is a terrible marriage. You are responsible. Goodbye. Pip leaves Satis' house. Pip returns to London. There, someone gives Pip a letter from Wemmick. It says, "Don't go home." Pip visits Wemmick. Madwitch has a lot of enemies. They know he is in London. They are following you, because they want to find him. Abel must hide from them. Abel must stay with my friend Clara and her father. They live near the river. Pip agrees, but Miss Havisham asks him to visit her again. He goes back to Satis' house. She says. You are sad. Estella is married to a terrible man. It is my fault. Do you forgive me? Yes, I forgive you," says Pip. I want to help you, Pip. I want to give you money. I have a human heart. Thank you, but nobody can help me. I want Estella. Miss Havisham is sitting near the fire. Suddenly, her old wedding dress touches the fire. It begins to burn. Pip saves her, but the old clothes burn quickly. She is badly injured. Poor Miss Havisham, she has nothing now. He waits for the doctor. Then he thinks, "I would like to see Joe and Biddy. They really love me. But I have no time. I must go back to London. I must save Abel Magwitch. His enemies want to catch him." Part Eight: The Escape. Wemmick is helping Pip. And Herbert, Magwitch must go back to Australia. They make a plan. There is a ship to Hamburg. You can meet it at the end of the River Thames, but no one must see you when you leave London. What, What can, can we, we do? do? Row on the river every day. Do the same thing every day, but one day, take Magwitch with you. Row to the end of the Thames, where it meets the sea. Catch the ship to Hamburg, then go to Australia. Then Magwitch is safe. That's, That's a great, great idea. idea. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. One night. 
Pip and Herbert take their boat to meet Magwitch. He is wearing a disguise. They row towards the sea at the end of the great River Thames. Thank you, Pip, my boy. But I don't want to be alone in Australia. Don't worry, Abel. I'm coming with you. There is nothing in England for me. Estella is married. I am very happy, Pip. You are my son. I want you to be with me. Shh. I think that someone is following us. We must be careful. The police mustn't catch Magwitch in England. They continue to go down the river. They hide on an island during the night. In the morning, they are looking for the big ship. Pip and Magwitch are going to Europe and then to Australia. They are escaping. They see the ship. But there is another boat. There are three policemen in it and another man. Look, there's the ship. Row quickly. We must catch it. That's Magwitch. Abel Magwitch. Stop! That man is a prisoner from Australia. You mustn't help him. Stop! Row faster! Faster! We must catch the ship! Who is that man in the boat with the police? I think that I can recognise him. It's my enemy, Compison. Yes, the man in the other boat is Compison. He is the other prisoner from the marshes. He is helping the police because he hates Magwitch. And Magwitch hates him. Pip and Herbert row quickly towards the ship. But the police are catching them. Magwitch is very angry. He hates Compison. He jumps in the other boat and fights Compison. They fall in the water. The big ship passes over them. Are they dead? Pip dives in the sea to rescue Magwitch. We arrest you, Abel Magwitch. But where is Compison? He's dead. The wheels of the ship are very powerful. His body is in the water. Come with us. We are going back to London. We are going to prison. This man must die. No! He is like my father. Please don't take him. Part 9 Joe to the rescue The police take Pip and Magwitch back to London. I am very cold. The river is very cold. My head is bleeding. Let me hold you in my arms. Magwitch is our prisoner. He must wear chains. Now there is a big problem. The police say, We must hang Magwitch. He is a criminal. But Magwitch is very ill. He is dying. Pip is visiting him in prison. Abel, I have no father, so you are my father now. I love you. Dear boy, I love you. You are my fine gentleman. Are you happy? No, I cannot be happy. I love a beautiful woman. Her name is Estella, but she is the wife of another man. I hope you're happy soon, Pip. Goodbye. I don't have a long time to live. Abel Magwitch dies. Pip is very sad. He has no money. He has no friends in London 
because Herbert is working in another country. Pip owes money to the shopkeepers. They are very angry with him and take him to a house. If he wants to be free, he must pay the money. Pip is very ill. He is dreaming about his childhood. He is dreaming about Joe, his best friend. Then he wakes up. Joe is there. Come home with me, Pip. I have enough money to pay the shopkeepers. You are free. But you are poor, Joe. Money is not important. You are important because Biddy and I love you. Pip goes back to the country. He lives at the forge again. He is getting better and he is beginning to think about love. He thinks, I love Estella, but she is cruel and she has no heart. Biddy is a very good person. She loves me. Pip wants to ask Biddy to marry him. But there is something he does not know. Biddy, I want to... Pip! I have some wonderful news. Joe and I are getting married today. But, well, that is wonderful news. You are my best friends. I am very happy. Let me kiss you both. Part 10. Estella. So Pip begins to think about Estella again. There is news from London. Bentley Drummle is a very bad husband. He hits Estella. She never goes out. People say that she is very unhappy. Poor Estella. She's learning to have a heart. You are very, very sad, sad Pip. Pip. Can, Can we, we help, help you? you? No, my friends. I must leave England. I want to go to Africa or Australia. I want to work hard and forget my problems. Pip leaves England. He works hard in the East and tries to forget everything in the past. After 11 years, he comes back. He visits Joe and Biddy and their child. Their son's name is Little Pip. Pip decides to visit Satis House for the last time. Miss Havisham is dead. The house is not there, only ruins. He walks in the garden. Here is the garden. I remember when I was a boy here. Estella was a beautiful little girl, and I was a poor boy from the blacksmith's family. I remember the house. I remember the clocks. But wait, there is someone in the garden. I can see a woman. She is coming towards me through the mist. Who is it? Estella comes out of the mist and meets Pip in the garden. She is still very beautiful, but her face is sad. Estella, why are you here? Bentley Drummle is dead. There was an accident with his horse. I am here to say goodbye to Satis House. And do you have a heart now? Yes, Pip. I have a heart. But it is too late. Pip is very happy to see Estella again. They talk for a long time in the garden. They hold hands. They are not young and free. They have a lot of problems. But they go out of the garden together. We are friends, Estella. 
We must be friends apart, Pip. Pip knows the meaning of his life. Money is not important. Being a gentleman is not important. Great expectations are not important. Friendship is important. He is friends with Estella. They are together. There is no shadow of goodbye. Great Expectations and Kent Rochester Rochester is a historic city in Kent, near London. It has a very old cathedral and a Norman castle. The castle is almost a thousand years old. Dickens was in Rochester a lot. His house, Gads Hill Place, is near Rochester. There is a Dickens Museum in Rochester and a Dickens Festival every summer and every Christmas. Great Expectations takes place in Kent and London. Joe's Forge is near Rochester. The coach to London goes from Rochester. There is a house in Rochester called Restoration House. Dickens describes this house when he tells us about Satis House, where Miss Havisham lives. Near Rochester, on the marshes, there is the village of Cooling. It has a churchyard with a lot of graves. At the beginning of the story, Pip meets the prisoner in this churchyard. The churchyard is near Gads Hill Place, but Dickens is not here. His body is in Westminster Abbey in London, in Poet's Corner. This is a special part of the Abbey for famous writers. There is another village called Chalk. Here you can see a forge. Dickens was in Chalk for his honeymoon. Perhaps this is Joe's forge. Blacksmiths are very important in Victorian times. Horses are the main method of transport. Everyone needs horseshoes. People also need metal for other things. Do you know what is the most common English surname? It's Smith. Someone who works with metal. Joe Gargery is poor, but he is very important. If you visit Rochester, you can also see Uncle Pumblechook's shop in the High Street. You can see the inn where there were the coaches for London. The mouth of the Thames is near Rochester. There is a great area of marshes, but the prison ships are not here now. There are no blacksmiths. People don't travel to London by coach and horses. Everything is very different in the 21st century.
Ladies and gentlemen, the 18th century. In the 18th century, everyone has a place in society. It is almost impossible to change. If a man belongs to a rich, important family, he is a gentleman. If a man belongs to a poor, unimportant family, he is an ordinary person, and he can never be a gentleman. It is the same for women. The 19th century. In the time of Queen Victoria, it is different. Even a poor person can become a gentleman or a lady by working hard and becoming rich. It is not easy, but it is possible. It is the first time in history that people can change their place in society. Dickens himself is a good example. He comes from a poor family. His father is sometimes in prison. Dickens must work in a factory when he is a child to help his family. But Dickens begins to write and becomes popular. He makes a lot of money. He is intelligent and educated. He is a gentleman. In the story, Pip is also poor, but becomes a gentleman. First, he uses his benefactor's money. But at the end of the story, he works hard for 11 years in the East and has his own money. What is a gentleman? In the story, Drummle is a gentleman. He belongs to a rich, important family, but he is cruel and stupid. When Pip is a boy, he is not a gentleman. Estella says that he has dirty boots and rough hands. Pip is a gentleman after he learns how to behave well. But where does his money come from? Joe is not a gentleman. He is poor and must work hard. He cannot read and write, but he is very kind and good. Who is the real gentleman? What do you think? What is a lady? Miss Havisham belongs to a rich, important family. Her money comes from her father. But she lives in a big house without daylight or time. Estella learns to be a lady in Paris. She has money and jewels, but she has no heart. Biddy is poor and must work hard. But she is kind and helps other people. Who is the real lady? Marriage is very important for Victorian ladies. If a man promises to marry a woman and then breaks his promise, the law punishes him. Be careful, boys. It is a terrible thing for Miss Havisham when her fiancé doesn't marry her. She almost goes crazy. Transportation to Australia This is the 18th century. The punishment for many crimes is hanging. Thieves and robbers not only murderers must hang. But this is a problem for the government. There are too many criminals. We need a new way of punishing them. The answer is 
transportation. This means sending criminals to Australia. Why is this a good idea? Because the thieves and robbers leave England. They can help to build a new country. What are the prison ships? These are old ships on the Thames. The navy does not need them. They are horrible places. They are wet and dark and smelly. The convicts stay here for several months. Then they go to Australia. Some of them are dangerous criminals. They must stay in Australia for life. Some of them commit small crimes. A servant girl steals something from a shop. She goes to Australia for seven years. How do the prisoners travel to Australia? It is 15,000 miles to Australia. The journey takes a hundred days. Ships take the prisoners. Between 1787 and 1868, 162,000 male and female prisoners go from Britain to Australia. The ships are not good places. A lot of prisoners die from diseases. They have no fresh air below decks. The punishments for prisoners who make trouble are very hard. What happens in Australia? In Australia, the prisoners work. They help to build new towns. Sometimes they become free men and women after a few years. Often they become important, well-known and respectable people. The first farmers, brewers, millers, etc. in Australia are convicts. In 1805, Solomon Wiseman is a prisoner. In 1833, he is governor of Sydney. But the serious criminals must not return to England. If they do, and the police catch them, the punishment is death. Do the Victorians hang murderers? Yes. Public hangings are very popular. In the story, Pip lives near Newgate Prison. They hang people there. Large crowds watch. Some people pay ten pounds, a lot of money in Victorian England, for a good seat. Dickens himself attends one hanging in London. He hates it. He says that he lives in a city of devils.